That's well, gonna keep going off. Okay. Um. Well then. Did you start already? I just started. And here we are at Sequel Podcast. What's that? I just want my phone to fucking ding the whole time. Ding, 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 ding. That's never classy. <laughs> it's not, but it's fun. It's not fun. <clears throat> it's fun for me. It's stupid. All right. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it to it. Well, I'm. Welcome to Sequel Podcast. <laughs> welcome to Sequel Podcast. This is Matt Bonta, and I'm Corey Easley. Uh, this is episode number one zero zero one <laughs> one no. fourteen fourteen one fourteen second podcast of the new year um we just did what's what's the name of your new drink it is known you as to, you have to name it son of a bitch it is it, well i mean look our drink you said you made it up I did make it up, but I mean, I'm sure it's not that different than something else. It was just a an apple shot made of, what is that? It was apple, uh, hard apple crown No, no, whiskey. no. Well, you can't really call it, it was hard. Apple. It was It was hard. It was <laughs> called, <laughs> called it crown whiskey. Yeah, it was apple, apple flavored crown, crown royal. royal. Crown royal whiskey. And I'm feeling it a little bit. Yeah, no, it was good. I, I was pretty stout. I threw, <laughs> I threw a little grenadine in there to and make it like a red apple, and then a little bit of sour Smirnoff vodka. You didn't put apple. You didn't put. Uh, and and then a, a dash of Jaeger on top because I thought it that's was light. The poison. I thought it was that's the poison in the apple. Indeed, it because is. we were supposed to be watching Snow White, but we're not going to watch it until you've watched it. I want to. I want to watch it with my kid just to to get his reaction to it. Well, and there are some other things. Like I honestly, I didn't really like. It's kind of a boring movie. It is. And there's not like a lot going in there that I could be like, oh, isn't this part fucked up for a kid to watch? There wasn't a lot of that. Right. But I mean, I read the story, the original Grim Fairy Tale, or right. the Grim Fairy Tale, how original it may be. Is up for debate because they just took a bunch of old shit and Jamming wrote it into story. their yeah they they did their own take on the Snow White so I mean I read that and then I read the Wikipedia page on all the history of making of and Disney and everything but like until you've actually watched the correct film, which was my fault entirely. Then I mean I even told you I told you I'm watching Snow White unless you watched Cinderella before that. What's that? I texted you, like, I'm watching Snow White tonight. Yeah, no, I, I don't remember. I, for some reason, even that stuck didn't stick in my mind. Like, you fucked up. I, I did fucked up, majorly. Like, we're never going to get a second fu- fucking commentary in here. You fucked up. Oh, did you do that, by the way? Did you do that? I couldn't get a hold of him. But he called you! He called me, and I called him back. He was at work. Because he works at night. Oh well, as well as during the day. So he called me on like an hour long break that he has, and by the time I got back around to him, he was already back at work. Man, you fucked them all, Man. fucking up all over the place. Yeah, we could. You could have call, called him the next we day. We could call him right now. All right. Well, look. Okay. Let's just call him right now. Um, I can call him back and see what he says. So, that for a little backstory, um, we, we made this movie Street Toughs. And uh, Corey's dad, who is aptly named <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Why is that apt? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Daryl Easley. Uh, and, and his other brother, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl and Daryl. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No one's going to know what that is. No one knows what that means. You don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's from Bob Newhart. The is Bob it? Newhart show. Okay. Well, Daryl and Daryl. And his other brother, Daryl. Um... <laughs> So he texts me last night, and I'm and he says, "How's the movie coming?" Now, I know why he texted me this, um, because uh, I was going through the movie and filling in the gaps in the credits at the end, um, and I couldn't quite read what the name on the one dude's uh, sign, you know, uh, release oh, the, slip is. Uh, the brother-in-law. Yeah. Or um, his girlfriend's brother. 
And so I, I couldn't read quite what his name is, so I texted him. I was like, what's that guy's name that you got to play in our movie? And so then, this was a couple of days ago, and then so last night he's like, how's the movie coming? So he's probably asking me that because I recently texted him. Um, and then I texted you and like, <laughs> I'm like, what should I say? And you're like, uh, the movie's going to be done soon <laughs> or something like that. Like something super blase. And I'm like, oh, but I want to fuck with him. You're like, who is it? <laughs> I'm like, dude, click on the picture and you'll see who it is. Well, because when I looked at the text, the, the screenshot didn't show the, the, the name. The name. You got to click on information. it. Yeah, you bring a picture all the way up. But I didn't know it was my dad. So, um, and then suddenly you fucking text back real quick. Well, yeah, because my dad and I have this, you know, you have a serious. Running joke. It's what well, we fuck with each other constantly. And did you see that video of like I, those two British dudes or two Australian guys that are constantly fucking with each other, like these two buff dudes, right? They're like roommates or something. Uh huh. It's like the worst shit ever. Like if if I, I had a roommate like that, I would kill him. <laughs> like he, the one dude goes in while he's sleeping, pees on him, oh, and then no. that guy goes and he eats like a bunch of oatmeal, and then he goes in and he throws up on the guy, and they're taking their clothes when they're in the shower at the gym, and they're running down the street naked with just a pair of shoes on, trying to get into the car, and they'll stop and then go and stop and then go. That's fucked. And up. like the guy goes in the porta potty and he fucking runs and fucking tips it over. Yeah, and probably kill that like, guy. Like the one dude's out tanning, and the guy comes and brings like a shit ton of snakes and dumps them on him. Like, the most fucked up things. Not just little pranks. Like, no. These are, these are like, fucking serious. Serious fucking pranks. Yeah. I don't know the... the have you seen the, the video series? It's a, a guy and his wife or his girlfriend. And I've, I've posted it on Facebook a bunch of times. Oh, you know, the, the British and, dude and, like, the blonde chick... Yeah, where he's always pushing her into the water or no, like I didn't smashing see that. her in the face with stuff. I saw one where he puts fucking toothpaste in an Oreo. Uh, yeah, I've seen that before. The one I'm talking about is this. Uh, it's an American couple. At least I presume it's an American couple. What, they don't talk? No, you hear them, but it, it sounds pretty American. Okay. Like, she's like, you son of a bitch, or whatever, you know. <laughs> you cocksucker! You cocksucker! <laughs> you cocksucker! <laughs> so, anyway... Um, there's just like this, it's like a Vine thing, and it's like a, a collection of these videos that they've made together, and they're pranking each other like hard. And like The girl one, gets back at them. Yeah, and they, okay. they prank each other back and forth. I couldn't live like that. Neither could I. I would get so pissed off. I, mean, I would kill somebody. And, and uh, I've, I've posted it on Facebook uh, numerous times, and I think I have a post floating out there that says this is where domestic violence comes from. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, like... He's sleeping in the bed, and she comes up on him with a fucking mouse trap. Puts on his dick? And no, snaps it on. <laughs> no, that would be even worse. But she snaps the fucking live mouse trap on his nipple, or a pair of them on the nipples. And I'm like, dude, that's fucking raw as shit. Like that's hardcore. Like, can you imagine? If she like did it he, on him she's laying in bed and package. he dumps a bucket of water on her. Okay, that's fucked up. Makes the bed wet and wakes you up. That's fucked up. Snapping fucking mousetraps on the nipples? Not good. That's that's tough. That's double not nice. Okay, this puts you on the fucking naughty list for real. Okay, uh, there's one where this she isn't was, like Chris Brown and Rihanna, is it? I don't know. Maybe roundhouse kicks her in the face. I don't know how <laughs> and then there was another another prank where like she's laying on the couch or something, and he brings like a kiddie pool in the living room and fills it up with water, and then dumps her off the couch into the kiddie pool. <laughs> she's sleeping on the she's couch. She's sleeping on the couch and fucking dumps her. It's she just, doesn't hear him bring the the pool in I don't, and fill I don't, it with water. I don't water. know what the backstory is if the shit's real or not. Sure, sure. But sure. it looks pretty fucking legit, and like the reaction of each person to the prank looks fucking super legit, and I'm like. I would, I would get a divorce. Like I, that's a fucked up way to live. Like you don't know how fucked up that person's gonna get before somebody quits. You <laughs> right. Know? Before, before the the uh, the line. Yeah. Because the uh, where is the line when the, you're pranking? Cut off. Like my old lady. Like if I went beyond what I do now to like I quote unquote prank her. Like I'll sneak around the corner. Like ah! <laughs> she fucking oh you son of a bitch you know and that's it. Like, you fuck her. Right. And that's it. Yeah. But, like, if I went beyond that, where I'm, like, physically pranking her, 
with like bad shit. Like these people are putting like saran wrap in the middle of a doorway and then scaring a person to run <laughs> to out. Run out. To the, I've never <laughs> seen that before. They get fucking clotheslined in the doorway by the fucking saran wrap. There's or, like the saran wrap on the toilet seat. That's an old old one. Where you put the saran wrap on the toilet seat and they go in and they sit like down. Like in the middle of the night kind of thing. Yeah, and then they piss and then they, or take a dump or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the, the extent of I've, the I don't think is. I've ever done it. I've never done but it. But I've heard about it. They usually put it on, you put it on there and then they piss and then like. Right. It, but it's got to be like, it's not like in the middle of the day. It's got to be like. You go in when there. They're, when they're sleeping, and, yeah, yeah. So like in the middle of the night or the first thing in the but morning. But you can imagine the surprise you would have. If, especially for girls, they're sitting on the toilet. They're it's surrounded running on the over toilet. The outside the bowl, they piss in the toilet, but it runs all over the outside. Now it's got to be cleaned up in the middle of the night. There's pee everywhere, <laughs> and a lot of times, like I don't know, like when I sit on the pot, like I have my legs kind of kicked back, so like <laughs> you go like this. Well, not, not really, but like I don't know, like you can have my your, legs are front and center, man. Okay, Mr. front and yeah, center, front dude. and center, front and center. Yes, sir. But I can imagine uh, the way a girl might sit, where they would like kick their legs back a little bit, like with their knees, you know, over the top of their feet, like where they're. <laughs> I don't know. I can't explain. <laughs> they're, they're, tucked. they're tucked. They're tucked underneath. Because a girl squat, not unlike a dinosaur's legs. Like, <laughs> and then, like you, so you, and then your they pants, your pants get pee on them. You get le- pee on your legs. Dude, I've fucking been at work before. There's a toilet in the uh, the room in the the men's room. I have a question my for area. you. How many toilets are there on the production floor? When, so how many toilets or how many restrooms? Both. So in well, you my guys don't area, have security either though. Yes, we do. You guys have security in and out of the building. In and out. What do you mean like, by that? Like okay, so in my facility, which will remain nameless, so I don't have to backpedal on anything I say. Robin um, Incorporated. We have to go through a metal detector. We don't do that. In a secured location, like a, a fenced-in area, and then we have to badge in we swipe to the in. production floor. We swipe in to the building. And you have to badge in to get into the... And we swipe in the clock in. Okay, so I would like that. We have to we have to use a... We have a time clock with numbers, and then we have biometric. So, like, the idea of my house, my apartment as it is. Okay. Like, if we're to walk in through the front door, we clock in. Okay. Or we swipe in. We can't call it clocking in. We swipe in to let them know that we're in the building. And then, once we get to our area, we chill out. No, 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 we're good. We chill out for, uh, until we clock in. An undetermined amount of time. An undetermined amount of time. They don't want you in there any more than a half an hour. Okay. They don't want you hanging out at work? More than a half an hour early. No one's ever said anything. (laughs) I mean, I don't think anyone's gone in there like two hours beforehand. why are you going to go to work super early? Right. Well, I mean, like, there could be the situation. That motherfucker, I work with that motherfucker. He's a douchebag. He looks like a douchebag. He's a super douchebag. In his bag. lunchbox. And there's a lady. <laughs> Fucking faggot. <laughs> I hope you're listening, you son of a bitch. Um, Matthew Bonta thinks you're an asshole. <laughs> um, and I think you're a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We've man. been drinking already. <laughs> oh, broke Matt. Um, I broke him. Okay, so you yeah, so, so, so you every a- Every area has their own clock in, too. Okay. So, you know, we go in, like, you show up 5.30, chill out for half an hour. That's what I do. Right. I like to sit down and read and kind of immerse myself in the environment. I don't like showing up last minute. I'm not a last like, minute guy. Boom! You're at work. I don't like fucking, like, okay, it takes me five minutes to drive to work. It takes me three minutes to walk into the building, and then I clock in at six o'clock. I don't like that. I yeah. like getting there, sitting down, reading, you know, and then I clock in at six o'clock. Get your mind right. Right, I'm not, I need to fucking put myself, no, it's like being an actor, I need to get myself in the role, that's what I do. Hey, you piece of shit. I heard you got the cocksucker throwing shit at the garage door. What a fucker. Or he's got a little bus going. (laughs) (laughs) When's the last time you ate? Uh, well, we have lunch at 10 o'clock, so. (laughs) I'm fucking starving right now. You're, you're, you're peeking out the system, bro. I'm fucking sus, no. I'm starving, and I'm probably getting a buzz already. Okay, hold on. Okay. That's okay. Um, well, okay. okay Tell so, me about your bathroom. Okay, so when we when we come in, they really don't give a shit how long we're there. But I propose that the building opens up at about 5 o'clock um, is when the security team gets there. And we have a contract security people 
that uh, that operate the desk and when we come in we have to badge into the front door which we have to you know little mag lock cards and then when we go into the building past that first badge lock the time clocks are in that front meeting area there's some coat hooks and shit like that and then there's five time clocks across the wall and then you have to badge in through a metal turnstile that's like head to toe turnstile you can't get in without badging in to the break room once you're in the break room you can go to the there's one bathroom in there with one toilet there's a bathroom men's, the what kind of break room is this the break room is actually pretty sweet for break as far as break rooms go um, we have there's two like uh, arcade game machines in there and they're like uh, it's like an Xbox I think or I'm sure it's an Xbox of some sort um, there's two ar stand up arcade games in the break room that are free play which is kind of cool I've never seen anybody playing what kind of them. arcade games are we talking it's a it's a multi-cade, so it's like an Xbox Centipede. with a bunch of like newer oh, Xbox games. Okay. It's probably like an Xbox, Xbox 360. One, oh, 360 Xbox one. maybe. I don't know. It has uh, Mortal Kombat X on it and Killer Instinct and some other shit. So there's there's some cool games on there to be played, and it's a multi-cade thing, so you can pick what you want to play. You don't have to pay for it. No, you okay. just push this push the button and you go. I like I said, I've never seen anybody playing it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. No problem. We get uh, two 15s and a 30, which is probably what you guys do. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And a lot of people smoke, so you like go outside and pound a couple of cigarettes while you're at it. You don't have time to play video games on break, and then lunchtime, you mostly people are mostly just sitting around. Like it would probably be fun to like get a little fucking game action going. It's not that long to jump into a Mortal Kombat game. It's not. You could probably play a couple of matches after you eat and then like call it good. But it's real clicky. And I'm sure your work is that way where people like they sit at the same table with the same people every fucking day. So That's then, right. Okay, so bathroom situation, right? There's one bathroom in the break room. I like to think of myself as someone that can join into any of those clicky groups. I am too, but I also choose not to. Right. I choose to sit at the table by myself so nobody fucks with me while I eat my food and read my book. Outside of people who work in a different department. In my yeah. own department, there's, you know. Sure. So, there's one bathroom. And I say one bathroom. There's a men's room and a women's room. And This break is room. in the break room. So, that's a total of two toilets, gender specific. Okay? If you're on break. There's a urinal and a, and a stall in the men's room. I don't know what's in the women's room. One and not going there. Probably so, three. I don't know. Probably Remember, three stalls. Well, oh, yeah. So then, and that is outside of the security area. We're a data security facility, so we have to have data security. That's why there's fucking metal detectors and shit. Hired outside the company? The security? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the security is contract. At so, JCPenney's, it used to be outside, mm -hmm. and then they just put it in-house. But they kept the same people. Sure. So then you leave the break room through another door and you go into the security area. This is, and this is probably fucking boring as shit, but there's this little caged in uh, chain link area and there's two metal detectors. Then you go through the metal detector. Obviously, for you can't take your cell phone, your wallet, your fucking key. key fob. You can't take shit in there. What the hell's a key fob? You know, the clicker for your car. Okay. You can't take that shit inside. Anything that looks semi-electronic, like I can't take a fucking lighter in there. Do you wear a belt to work? I do wear a belt, and I have to fucking take it off six times a day. So where does this stuff go? In a locker in the break room? Yeah, they have lockers. I don't have one because the cocksuckers won't issue me one, which is fine. So you just leave everything in the car? I usually leave my shit in my car. Anything I don't want to, like, leave out. You know, like, I leave my... I take. I, you can take your belt, obviously, but you have to take it off to go through the middle of the ticket. It's like going through fucking... Uh, Airport security. Yeah, TSA bullshit at fucking work every so, goddamn day for break and lunch and every goddamn thing all else. Right. Well, let's get to the so, interesting stuff. Let's get it back and forth going. <laughs> you want to keep going? I'm just saying, there's two fucking toilets in the whole building. You don't have one in your department? The whole warehouse is a department. 
Like the whole warehouse is test, and then I tend to forget it. that almost every warehouse I've been to is smaller than Jay Penney's. Yeah, and see, what's, I don't know what the square footage is of your place. It's pretty big. It, how long does it take you from where you're working to get outside? Mm. I could probably get outside in three minutes. Also not. So then... But I work pretty close to the door, too. Like, mine's probably the closest workstation to the door. Well, for me... From the farthest workstation, it'll probably take you five minutes to get from your workstation to the door. Yeah, see, that's how it is for me. But you only have one <laughs> fucking bathroom in that whole building? One bathroom on the production floor. Otherwise, you have to leave the secured area and use the bathroom <laughs> you gotta in go the break through room. Security. Twice. You go through security through the break room, through the break room, through security to the work area. Mm-hmm. Back and forth. Mm-hmm. Metal detector and everything. Yep, and it's annoying as fuck. Wow. I'm telling you that right now. Um, we have one bathroom, men and women's, in our area. Um, and it's an upstairs and downstairs, but the, well, the bathroom is downstairs. But our area is an upstairs and a downstairs work area. Okay. And then there's a bathroom coming in. But if you had a dump, right, like right now, and your bathroom, how many stalls are there? Oh, there's two stalls. And two urinals. Okay, so there's one stall, one urinal in our bathroom. <laughs> so somebody's dumping. Already. And you got to go right now. You got to go you outside the, the, the secured area. Yeah. <laughs> Do, uh, what the fuck was that movie? Uh, the bowling movie. Kingpin? Yeah. Is that in there? It's been so long. Yeah, the fucking... The, Woody Harrelson. Uh, Randy Quaid. Bill Murray. The Amish kid. Randy Quaid. Yeah. He's they, they catch him in the in the hotel sitting on the, the sitting stall, in the urinal taking urinal. a dump. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long, dude. Neither have I. Um, okay. Am I getting good sound out of this? No, you're you're good. I've got a good distance here. Unless you're laughing. We're still like working out the kinks of the audio having systems, a perfect. Yeah. We're getting there though. I mean, it could be great listening to it. I'm sure it sounds better than what we had before. Maybe. I think it does, because I've listened to some of it. It sounds good. Yeah. But maybe that's just the quality at which I'm rendering it as a film. Perhaps so. Um, but yeah, no, we've got... But see, if now, if both those stalls are being used, you can leave the area and go to the break room by the lunch room. Which there's one upstairs and downstairs. Mm -hmm. There's also another break room going the other way to a receiving. Um, which is the the lunchroom one's a, a quicker walk, maybe thirty seconds, forty seconds to a minute. Sure. So. Well, let's just say you have options. We have options. I have no options. I have to either take a dump on the production floor, or walk all the way across the fucking building to go take a dump in the break room. Not literally. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my situation. Okay. Now, anyways, why did we get? It, why did we get into that? I don't know. We we're talking about. We we're talking toilets. about your dad. Oh, that's right. We were covering. Right. I was telling how he. Blah blah. blah. We already we already matters. covered it, but I don't um, think it matters. I don't know how we got into that, but uh. <laughs> Pizza clunk. <laughs> Um, anyways, Daryl and Daryl, easily, uh, he texted me last night, he said, how is the movie coming? So I texted Corey back real quick, and he got back to me, he's like, just tell him the footage got fucked up. Um, so I said, my editor took my computer, my editor isn't a person, uh, he took my computer and fucked it up, spilled soda on it or some dumb shit, <laughs> a bunch of footage got fucked, looks like we have to scrap it. <laughs> And then he gets back to me. Oh, fuck, I got an IT department at my work. Want me to see if they can save it? <laughs> and I text Corey back, and it's like, what should I say? He's like, oh, just tell him that the footage got, the, the SIM card got broke when we took the camera on the freeway. Which has nothing to do with the computer, by the way, so I don't know why you switched gears like that, but I uh, went I with it. I didn't read that part. Um, I wish it were that easy, I said. Uh, it's not just the computer. We had the camera, because I had to throw that in there, because right. what you said wouldn't work by itself. 
we had the camera strapped to the truck and the rigging wasn't that great and the camera went flying when we were on the freeway, <laughs> which is not completely untrue because I tried to get some, uh, what do you call it, GoPro type footage by strapping the camera to the hood of the truck and when I hit the freeway it started fucking banging on the truck and, and on the roof of the truck and everything else like that. Just couldn't hang with the wind speed, right? Right, and I strapped it in with uh, like a... You know, like a truck okay. strap. If you strap something down, yeah. And uh, I thought I lost all the footage we had, which was like a, a couple days worth of footage. The last of our footage, essentially. All the last few days. Um, but I was able to get it on there. and um, Because it wanted to like fix it. And I was worried if the camera fixed itself, if it was going to delete everything. So I, I figured... I like, remember that. We talked about that. So I, I figured a way that I could work around it without having to fix it. And the computer took the footage off how I thought it would, and it was fine. And then I let the camera fix itself, and the footage was still intact then, too. So everything was fine both ways. Um, but anyways, I say, I wish it were that easy. It's not just the computer. We had the camera strapped to the truck, and the rigging wasn't that great, and the camera went flying, and we were on the freeway. Oh, I fucking... <laughs> I said the dim card. <laughs> but all the rest of the footage was destroyed. Vaporized. Now, vaporized was my way. The rock. The, uh, not to the rock. <laughs> <laughs> it was vaporized by the. Uh, <laughs> by the rocket. By the what the fuck was on those? Uh, it was a rocket. That, they were rockets, but what they were supposed to have some kind of like high tech napalm. Were they? It's been a while since I've seen to the rock. Vaporize to, uh, the VX nerve gas. It's been a good ten years since I've seen the rock. I've seen it more recently. Nine, nine years maybe. Probably on a TV cast. And then he says, oh, period, damn. Like, he says, oh, with a period after it. I wonder what that means. Like, he doesn't believe me. And he says, damn. Or maybe he's sad. Maybe he's like, oh, damn. Tone is hard to get from text messaging. But the periods help. And it says, well, let me know when you're making the next one, and I'll try out. I'll, I'll try. I think it says meant to be try out for it, but it says our, try our for it. Yeah, probably try out or... Right. Something of that nature. Um, and at that point, Corey texts me back and is like, he's calling out our shit. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? And he says, he's talk he's calling you. Yeah, he's, he's calling me. But what I meant to, what I was trying to get across to you is he was calling our bullshit. Right. Like he's calling us out on our lie. By like calling you? By calling me. But he didn't text you. No. He just outright called me. Right. And now, it's a backstory of me and him fucking with each other. This happens on a regular basis. Oh, so he's come to assume maybe it's going to happen, but Most he's talking the, just to me. Exactly. So he's trying to see from... Now, he's, he's already talked to you, and he's going to talk to me and see what the deal is with the movie. So to see if I can corroborate... He didn't leave a saying. message, nothing. He, he sounded really sad. Actually, oh, he left the message? I have a voicemail. Okay, mail let's get the voicemail played. we can play. Hold on. Because he sounded really, like, solemn. <laughs> like... <laughs> He was, he was, it was almost like he was sad. So, I thought that was actually kind of funny. Okay, put it on speakerphone. Hopefully it's not awful loud So, here. it's going to be at least two weeks. Oh, that wasn't it. That was the wrong one. That was your AIDS test. That was my AIDS test. Okay, for some reason it's not showing. Did you delete it? I might have. Fuck. I might have deleted the wrong one. Cocksucker. <laughs> Man, you're fucking up all over the place. I know, I can't get my shit together today. <laughs> well, is it there? No, it's not here. Alright, well then what did he say? Anyway, so he, he he's like, he's like, hey, it's dad. <laughs> like, 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 real, like, like, usually, usually when we talk or he calls me, he says, hey, fucker, call me back when you get a second, right? <laughs> it's, it's real, most of the time real lively. And even if he's at work, he's like, hey, man, give me a call when you get, when you get a minute, I'm at work, but call me, leave a message or whatever, or text me or something. This time, it was very, like, hey, man, give me a call back when you get a second. <laughs> call him back now. So let's call him now. All right, now, I'm so okay. So put on a speaker. I'm right, just gonna yeah. let you talk. I'm just gonna let you talk. Okay. <laughs> we got a hot mic. Okay, we got a hot mic, and I get my shit together. Okay. All right. No grabbing them by the pussy over here. <laughs> so we can still hear them in the other room.
Why are you taking your headphones off? Just hang on a second. You got food in I'm, your mouth. I'm making sure. Nope, I ain't it either. I deleted the fucking wrong one. Be the, that would be typical. Typical of the not answer. But maybe now it's like an emergency. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Not what you doing. Just hanging out. Just got off work a little yeah. while ago. Yeah, I just seen you call me last night. What's up? Oh, uh, I can't remember what I was talking, what I'm talking about. Okay. I can't remember. Something, something really desperately important. but Desperately important, but I'll you remember, can't remember. I'll remember it later and, and call you. <laughs> typical. Yeah. All right. Hey, call, uh, call me. Call me back when you think about it. If you, if you come up right, with it. Good. All right. All right. I'll just return your phone call. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll call. I'll call you this weekend or something. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you. Later. All right. Bye. See ya. All right. So I just texted him. So desperately important. <laughs> he fucking forgot. But he can't fucking remember. That's no. That's funny because it's typical. I texted him. I said. uh I'm sorry, dude. I know you put a lot of work in. So hopefully he'll see that and call back. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's <laughs> fucking stupid shit. <laughs> so anticlimactic. So anticlimactic. We're almost there, too. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe. He's like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Must not have been that important. Then, right. Huh? Um, so while we wait to see if he calls you back, uh, I asked you the other day how it was getting into work. And you told me to ask you on the podcast. Okay. So, now, so there's is, a little backstory. We've been fucking flooded here in Reno, Nevada. Over the course of several days. I mean, it wasn't just one day it flooded. It was like, a, it was like, like one day it was flooding, four days. and then it continued to rain and like, started flooding again. Sunday, it was like, oh, you is know, he, he calling it, you back? it's raining, like, really bad. And then they're like, okay, we're well, a state of emergency. It's going to flood. And, and anybody who's lived in Reno for any period of time knows that roughly every 10 years, oh, we, get, we get a decent oh, flood. It's okay. It was a blast. I want to do it again. That's it. Is there any way that you can call him back and be like, oh, hey, uh, I forgot to tell you this and this. Did you remember what it was? Now, let me work on some bullshit and we'll call him back in a minute. Okay. So, yeah, it's been flooding. So, anyways, and anybody who knows Reno, we get a flood every 10 years, roughly, that actually affects the, the greater downtown Reno Sparks area. And it actually is the Truckee River overflowing its boundaries. Did it actually overflow? A bit, I think. I'm not sure how much because I didn't get much coverage. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. You don't think it came out? Uh So this time what we got mostly was a bunch of localized flooding. So a lot of flash flooding, quote unquote. And there was road closures and there was neighborhoods that were flooded. Like I had, there was fucking neighborhoods in in my area out in Cold Springs that were flooded. Like... Several blocks. All my Cold Spring coworkers made it to work. And I made it to work, too. And what I was doing was keeping an eye on road closures and on, you know, what what else was going on. Because my wife works in the south end of town. They did have a lot of road closures. There was. Despite the fact that it was probably okay. That and a lot of what was going on was, like I said, localized flooding. So the roads were flooded out with, you know, several feet of water in them. But... You know, maybe by Monday, they were fine. I mean, they canceled school on Monday, for God's sake, which I think was probably a little overzealous. And yesterday. Yesterday was because of snow. And it was late today. Yeah, it was. No, it's, the snow was the reason why it was going to be flooding. Well, the snow... And then on the top rain, of the rain, rain hitting rain the snow. The, rain on the snow, yeah. Which is usually why it floods anyway. So, I'm keeping an eye on this stuff. And I see that... Uh, two of the major intersections that I have to go through to get to work. Which one? Which are uh, uh, Silver Lake at Red Rock and Moya at Red Rock. Uh, the Moya and Lear one was closed, Okay. supposedly, right. on Sunday. So I see this on Sunday and I go, hmm, if that's <laughs> flooded, <laughs> hmm, if that's flooded, 
I'm not going to work, right? Because I'm not driving my little piece of shit car through two feet of fucking water to try to get to work. I so didn't want to go to work on Monday, but I went. So anyway, I like, try, hold on. I try to call the mine's, facility. Mine's real quick. Yeah. So fucking Sunday when I leave work, Sunday afternoon, because they told us it was going to flood Sunday. The news told us this. God told us. <laughs> God told the news, and the news told us. Um, so there's this area over here at the, the light on Lear and Stead where it gets really, really flooded. So I leave work, and that area, it's, it's flooded right there at the light. And I was like, okay, I'm probably not going to go to work tomorrow. Okay, but I get up. And I'm looking outside, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's not snowing or anything. So I go to work, and then when I get to the light, it's fucking clear. There's no water there anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, god damn it. Okay. And that's how Monday was for me. But Sunday, I kind of presume that maybe this flooding is going to linger. Maybe the roads going to be fucked up. Who knows? Absolutely. Me too. So that's what I assume. Now, I call the facility. Of course, there's nobody there. Nobody to answer the phone. Nobody to call me. But we also have this automated dialing system that's tapped into all the facilities. Fucking who knows where it goes, where it comes from. But there are multiple facilities in town, and there are many, many multiple facilities across the world. And they have a inclement weather number that employees can call if the weather's really bad. Like, I don't know, if you live in a fucking tornado area or something, I don't know. But sometimes they close a facility for snow. If it snows and they don't think it's safe for people to try to come to work, they'll say, hey, fucking don't worry about it, stay home. So I kind of think, well, fuck, I'll call this number, see what's happening. Nothing. So that night, at about <laughs> midnight. What a disappointment. <laughs> about midnight, on, on uh, would be, you know, Monday morning, Sunday night, midnight, right sure. in the middle there. The phone rings. My, my cell phone rings. This is the number they have for contact. And it's a recorded message that says, this is, uh, you know, blah, 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 facility. And what is your status for flood evacuation? Press blah for this. Press one for pre-evacuation. Press two for evacuation. So you woke up at midnight and answered the phone? Well, I, I keep the phone with me in the bedroom because I use it for an alarm clock. Yeah, but I always turn my phone off. I don't. I don't turn, I don't turn it off, but I turn, turn the sound the, off the and I turn off. the vibration off too. Yeah. So I leave mine on. Uh, mostly because I'm figuring maybe somebody will call me and say, hey, don't come to work today. I'm thinking positive, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, an extra day off is always good. So then... Are you off on Monday? No. You're not? This Monday? Yeah. No. No, we're racist at work. Yes, you're, that's what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. I'm so close on the verge of accidentally saying <laughs> where you're actually working. So anyway... Fox Studios. Fox Studios. Century 21. I actually have some material from Warner Brothers, which mean? I was really excited about. That material? I'll, I'll call it material, and it was the the belonging of Warner Brothers Studios. The hell does that mean? Did you steal something? No. At work, we received material from Warner Brothers Studios. Oh, okay. I see. You know what I do. That should make sense to you. I guess. Anyway. We'll talk about it later. Anyways, you're talking, they're asking you about what your situation is. So they, they ask is. you what your what your evacuation status is. And I put pre-evacuation. I'm like, fuck it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, on I'm the just, verge of a zombie outbreak. I'm just like, fuck it, we're, we're fighting the water off, we're sandbagging, we're doing whatever we gotta do, right? We're loading up the boat. Yeah, we're getting ready to float away. <laughs> so, I say, I, I, I press... the last two days. Yeah. I press I press two for pre evacuation to figure maybe that'll help my position a little bit. They're like bullshit. And they're like, okay, well this facility and this facility are on blah 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 standby and we're gonna continue to notify you between the hours of midnight and three AM. And I'm like, Okay, they probably call me back and tell me one way or the other. They don't call you back. <laughs> no, they call me at one o'clock in the morning. An hour later. And same question, what's your evacuation status? And I put pre-evacuation again. And then they say, well, as of right now, um, we're advising all employees of blah, blah, blah company to stay home and remain in your home. And all of a sudden, I'm like, cool, day off, right? I'm like, shit, that should be it. They call me at 2 o'clock. And then they, they ask Every me, hour you got another Every hour call. between midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning. They Just kidding. Up. Yeah, and I don't know why I left my phone on, but apparently I fell asleep directly after taking the phone call. 
without turning it off or thinking about it. I can't fucking set an alarm when I'm half awake. So then they call me back at 2 o'clock and then 3 o'clock and at 3 o'clock in the morning, they call and say, uh, well, we're going to be, this facility, specifically my facility, was going to be open with a um, delayed start of 6 a.m., which anybody who knows that our shift starts. actually starts at 6 a.m. <laughs> so that's not a fucking late start, first of all. Second of all, the weather wasn't really that bad at that point. It had quit raining and the flooding had kind of subsided. But I was fucking hot because I got woke up every fucking hour between midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to be a fucking work at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I was hot. And then when I got to work, everybody else was fucking hot too. Everyone got Everybody's like, calls. so how about uh, fucking phone calls in the middle of the night? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, the cocksuckers didn't ever hear a fucking text message. <laughs> and I'm like, that would have been sufficient. You know, fucking text everybody say, hey, don't come to work. And then at right, 3 o'clock the in the morning. Yeah, by the time you wake up at 5, you've got everything there. Yeah, I've got so, you know, like, hey, don't come, to, don't work. come to work. Don't come to work. Come to work. Hey, we're going to come to work late at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, okay, cool. But no, these motherfuckers. I was pissed, and I made sure everybody knew I was pissed. Sure but I'm one of those guys too. Like that's my that's my that's my thing at work. What's your like, birthday? I'm an asshole. I'm nice to everybody, all the people I work with. But when it comes to something that I think is stupid, doesn't make sense, or is impractical, or is a waste of time, I make sure that everybody fucking knows it. <laughs> they make sure that everybody knows what my fucking opinion is. <laughs> I will tell my boss. I will tell my fucking supervisor when he tells me, hey, we're going to do this this way. And I was like, why? <laughs> and he'll say, well, because X, Y, Z. And I'll say, but that doesn't make sense. He'll say, well, this is the way the company wants to blah, blah, blah. And I'll say, that's that's stupid. That's not science. That That's not a that's not an effective use of our time, I'll tell him. And he'll say, well, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, it's like talking to a fucking textbook, this guy. <laughs> he's really nice. He's I've had supervisors super, like oh that. God, super nice guy. I you I don't think that he's a human. I think he's a robot. You think he's a, a robot? A robot. No, I think I, I honestly think that he's a fucking robot. Like, like he's a cyborg. He's got a fucking pull string on his back that the fucking higher ups fucking send him an email, and he says something new. Yeah, you're my favorite deputy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy is like fucking talking to a textbook, and it's almost irritating to a satisfactory level, if that makes any sense. Like you know, it would be nice to get a supervisor that fucking knows how to, you know, has any fucking like. Balls. I think that's why I would make a good supervisor. Cause you'd have some balls. I had some ball sack, and I'm gonna tell people I think shit's stupid. I probably wouldn't be a supervisor for very long though, cause I probably wouldn't. <laughs> you get all the that. complaints. All those supervisors that fucking do something different, they always get complaints, and they're always yeah. gone. Always. Yeah, but on top of that, I say fuck them. Honestly, you know what the biggest thing is. My balls? No. Do you have to stand up all day? I mean, outside of break? Yeah. 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 There are a couple of secondary activities where you can sit down and work, but yeah. for the most part... I think, my, I think my job standing up all day mm -hmm. makes my balls hurt. I'm that, not sure. Not I'm true. not sure. No, I'm not, no, no, I'm not sure if that's, if that's what's causing it, but I have like real testicular discomfort on a more regular basis. <laughs> you got a problem, dude. I probably do have a problem. <laughs> it's not that. Um, you never know. Anyway, what you was forgot what you were saying. Yeah, you thought someone called your dad and fucking fuck with him. You know, I could play the same angle. I yeah. could tell him that you just told me that the footage got lost. <laughs> like, say, have you heard from Matt lately? Do you want to pursue that, or do you want to keep talking about other stuff? No, no, let's do that. Let's keep this <coughs> interesting, since we can't watch Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You mean Cinderella? <laughs> so now, I, Cinderella now I need to watch Cinderella, and we've got two in the bank, potentially. Two, two in the bank. Because next week we're going to have Dakota on. And what are we doing with Dakota next week? Just talk to him. We're Just not doing, watching Snow White. Just doing some bullshit session? <laughs> yeah. When does he go to work? He's probably on his way right now. So he might not answer. No, what time did he text me yesterday? No, I don't remember. Well, he can text. He just can't call. Texted me at 6. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Cocksucker. Damn. 
Anyway. Maybe we can cold call out somebody else. Yeah, Let's get try another, call get Derek. A, get a live caller. Get Derek on the air. Let's see. Contacts. He's like, um... Derek, get know? drunk. We're podcasting. <laughs> He's like, I'm already drunk. <laughs> Should we give out his phone number? No one ever fucking listens to this show, so it wouldn't matter if we did. <laughs> it's funny because I, I feel like when we do this that we're on an actual radio oh, show. Oh, it really does feel like like a million listeners. Cause I'm, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Derek! What? <laughs> Derek! It's Corey. It's weed, man. What the heck? Derek, we're podcasting. And you're live on the pre recorded air. <laughs> Click. What's going on? <laughs> We're podcasting, Derek. Me and Corey. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, oh. we, and you're on the air with us because we love you. Oh, God. We've also been, All right. we've also been drinking you in, in your like name. Podcasting? podcasting right now, man. No more. Are you high, That's Derek? More? Derek, what have you been doing today? I was working. Are what, what are you working? doing right now? <laughs> what? Where are, you, where are you broadcasting? I don't know. What are you wearing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, this is getting real over here. No, we're just uh, we're just looking for we're looking for interest. Looking for, look, <laughs> what are you we're looking trying to get a rise out of you, man. <laughs> so what's up, man? We haven't talked in a while. How's your new job? Call ended, it says. Oh, cocksucker hung up on us. That's fucking typical. Maybe. Typical fucking scabs. He doesn't get it, yeah. Fucking scabs. 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 So, I, uh... Perspective club members. Perspective fucking scabs. 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 So, when I came in, I I, uh, noticed your t-shirt. Can we talk about your t-shirt for a second? I umbrella... (laughs) V-E. So, it's kind of like... No, no, it's not I. Fuck. It's L... L O V E like umbrella. The umbrella corp is the O of the O V E uh, in reference to the Resident Evil series. I didn't like it. You didn't like the series at all. No. Like, just why did you even buy the shirt? It was actually a grab you're bag. A fucking poser. It was a grab bag shirt. You're a poser. It was a grab bag shirt. You don't love Mila Jovovich. Not really. You don't love. Nope. You're a cocksucker. <laughs> Just you, you and your whole family, you're fucking cocksuckers. Every movie they come out with is supposed to be the last one, and yet they're like, no, we'll do another one. I know, because one. like Apocalypse was like, really the end, end, end. And then they made a four. And then they made another one. And, and now it's one. five. Is it five now? Shit, I don't know. Could be I, six. I will, admit, five, I will admit my undying love for that series. Yeah, but you love gay movies. I do love gay movies, and I especially love... Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain, where there's a lot of dick sucking and butt fucking going on. Also, what's that other movie? Velvet Goldmine. Yeah, I've never seen that one. Is that your? <clears throat> no. Damn. But uh, <clears throat> I have an undying love for zombie apocalypse movies, like where things take place. I have an undying movie. love for good movies, despite what they're about. Yeah. See, and I almost don't care what they're about. <laughs> Or care about whether or not they're good. <laughs> you almost don't care what they're about. <laughs> I almost don't care about what it's about when, as long as it's good. I wonder why this guy fucking hung up like that. Because Derek's a faggot. I hope you're listening on this fucking shit, Derek. Faggot. I wonder if there's anyone else that we can fucking call up. We can call up Fiesta Mexicana and order up some burritos. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm fucking starving I still. just gave you some pizza. I know, but I'm still hungry. You know what I feel like sometimes when we're doing this? I eating. feel like a fucking Muppet. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to... That's strange. Like, I just feel like a Muppet, you know? Like the... The two Muppets that they have in the... Right, the two old guys? Yeah, the two old guys. That's, like, that's oh, what... Let's be front of some people. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like we are. Sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway. Anyways. January 27th. Yourself. January 27th. The new and maybe last, maybe not last, Resident Evil movie will be coming to the big screen. I got something for you over there. I don't think we need it anymore, but I got them now. Not that. This? No, the, the uh, tickets. No, oh, okay, the tickets for... Let's the Augmentus show. Oh, that's right. 
But really, it's Mentis. Star Set with Authmentis. So? But, I mean, we would go for... It's a Jeb Jebs. There's two tickets there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go. But you can go and you can record it. Well, Casey doesn't know. How Casey gonna, doesn't know if we can do that or yeah, not. Yeah, he doesn't know what the situation would be to record it, but that would be the reason why you would be uh, talking. Well, it says all ages, no video or audio recording. Right, but he was talking something about, like, talking to somebody about, like, a press pass and, and, and seeing if maybe he... No refunds, so I better leave my, my weed and my guns at home. No, take that your gun, dude. You don't want to get shot. Yeah, absolutely not. You don't want to get shot without being able to shoot back yourself. Press no, I fucking read mistake. on the news the other day that somebody... Was fucking... It's Leo Somebody was sniping on the freeway somewhere. Recently? Not like here, but somewhere. Something like Arizona, I think. Maybe the Beltway sniper again. Is it? Did he get out of jail? No, no, no. I don't oh, know what the, no, this... No, no, no. Guy. This story has a conclusion. Okay, go ahead. So somebody was shooting... Somebody shot somebody on the freeway. All right. And they were off to the side. A cop stopped to help out this person who was shot. And he got shot. Oh, no. But... Another car came along and shot the guy that was shooting them. Nice. Nice. I, always, I love it when good guys win, especially when it's the underdog good guys, like the fucking concealed carry holders or just the fucking redneck with a shotgun in the back seat. Like, those are the guys that you want to win. You know, here's something we never talked about. That thing that happened at Hug High School. Pussy farts. <laughs> anyway, Hug High School... I watched Who are you, that video. George Carlin. I, I saw George Carlin live. Here's he, something no one ever talks about. Pussy farts. Here's somebody nobody ta- something nobody talks about anymore. Pussy, Pussy farts. farts. <laughs> you know why they put a cock on the top of <laughs> on the top of the barn? Because if they put a pussy up there, it would blow right through it. I saw George Carlin that last time he went around live. Oh, you saw here him here in town. I saw, saw him, him live here, okay. here in Reno. That was, like, right before he that, died, too. Yeah, and it was that bit he opened up with, the pussy farts. George Carlin's a genius. Abs- absolute comic genius. And anyway, he's on a serious ab- above note. Above all else, <laughs> comic genius. Comic genius. So the Hug High School incident. I've watched that video repeatedly. So let's say, talk about what happened. Um, pri- okay, let's talk about how I found out how it happened. So what I read was some kid had some knives. And you watch the video, and you see a kid... Um, and every fucking news article that I read, and I did some investigative reporting of my own to find out further what wasn't really on the page. Sure. Because we live in a world full of... Bullshit. Uh, social media. And to bullshit. where you could find these people online. And it is, it's a lot of bullshit. A lot of the news outlets were saying that the kid had a knife, as in one knife, but you watch the video and he's swinging two really large knives. Had sure. to be kitchen knives. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was verified as kitchen knives, even. Okay. Um, oh, shit, I hope I didn't click something. Clickety-click, clack, click, click. But uh, you see him swinging at this crowd. Um, I think there's at least two videos of this kid. Yeah, two different angles of cell phone footage. You know what's fucked up is why aren't these kids... Standing there watching him freak out? Like, why aren't they running away? Why aren't they getting out of because there? Because they want to watch. It's... It's sad, they this world see, that we live in. We live in a first-person shooter world. Like, this kid was circled by a group of students. They wanted to see what was going to happen. You ever seen a fight at school? That's different. This guy had knives, and he was swinging them at people. Yeah, that's true. Like, was it, was it, do you remember if anybody was, was injured? Do you remember if that happened? I don't think anybody no, was now injured. This was other something that I read, though. I read that he stabbed somebody. No, he may have. I read that he stabbed somebody. But I never saw any kind of follow-up on that. Yeah, I never verified the actual injury taking place. So, I didn't do as much reading on what happened, but this kid, obviously disgruntled about maybe some bullying that's going on. It said that he had been bullied prior to this. That's what the the general consensus is. This kid gets bent out of shape because he's getting bullied. He brings fucking knives to school, and he's going to teach people a lesson. I'm glad it wasn't a fucking shotgun. Right. That, that's my Absolutely. first thought. I'm like, Absolutely. good on you for like bringing a knife to school and getting after maybe the one asshole that fucked with you. I'm not saying that's the right way to go about things, but thanks for not fucking shooting the whole place up. Right. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad. I the think cops, you're gonna take a different stance than I am on this. I'm situation. also glad the fucking cops shot you. Okay. You little prick bastard. Right. For fucking you trying to stab people and shit, and you're not gonna put down the knife when the police tell you to put the fucking knife down. Good. I, you should have shot higher and maybe fucking got him in the head. 
Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. Now, and then directly, directly after this whole fucking shit goes down, like maybe two days after, it comes out that the family is going to sue the fucking police department for shooting the fucking kid and injuring for him. And he job. he was an athlete and he was blah, blah, blah. That. And he was going to be do great things and he was going to be in the fucking Olympics or some shit. And now this kid has a. I has, never saw anything like that. Yeah, in no, fact, I, what I, I saw I, on social media is that kid was in jail previously. Probably. I and never they let read him that. Out. Leah, you guys were in the same grade. Do you know this kid? No. She went to a different school. Yeah. You ever heard of him? No, but his dad got like arrested for a DUI. Typical like, piece of shit. Two days after. Got drunk and right. fucking went driving. Yeah. Yeah, go for a drunk drive what? to to let things air out. So this this fucking parents and I heard this uh, reputable news. <laughs> reputable. Reputable. Repudiated. CBS. I don't know what that ABC, means. ABC, KTVN, KOLO. You can't, you can't say that live on the air. <laughs> it's a trademark. It's not a trademark. So, Those so, are our local affiliates. That's true. So this this kid's parents are now going to sue the police department. This was what they said. No, Nobody, see, and I saw that this kid fucking, like, like I saw his like Facebook page, because I went and did my own investigation. Right. And he's like, oh, I just got out of jail. And fucking, like, he, everything that he wrote on there was fucking, like... Missing all the vowel, all the vowels, so he wrote in a bunch of consonants. Like I hate fucking, it when people do that on Facebook. Like he's not, and you know, and then I remember reading one of the interviews from like the the like the dad of his friend was like, oh no, he was a good kid. He was just over hanging out with my friend the other day, or my son the other day. Blah blah blah. This kid was fucking in jail. People don't go to jail for no reason because they're good kids. If he was yeah. a good kid, he wouldn't go. Well, now, Trayvon, I know, Trayvon Martin was a good kid too. I. F- I'm not talking about him. That's a separate thing. I'm just saying. I, don't, I haven't studied that all situation recently. All these people recently who have been shot by it. the police for fucking up. He was shot by the all good kids. That was Trayvon Martin was a bad ex- bad example. Bad example. But a lot of these innocent children who've been shot by the police for wielding a fucking weapon were all good kids. They were all good kids. <laughs> that, Trayvon Martin didn't have a weapon, did he? No, Trayvon he Martin was the uh, yeah he had skittles, which are way more dangerous than a weapon himself. Okay, this is the old man. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? I remember what I called you about. What'd you call me about? Man sent me a text, Matt Monta. Right. That all the footage and stuff like that, a lot of the footage for the movie got trashed. Gone. I just fucking, I just got off the phone with him. He just told me the same fucking thing. Yeah. That is so fucked. It is. I mean, that's like serious fucking hours of work. And money. And fucking fucking everything else. Yeah, I know. Is there anything he can save from it? I'm looking at the hardware. Uh, He's going to bring the hardware over to me and try to help me find. Or uh, I'm going to try to help him find if there's anything we can get from it. I got an IT department at school. Uh, Frank's pretty good. He's a sharp guy. He might be able to help us get some of that stuff too. You know, Frank's going to school, right? Yeah, yeah. Frank, the yeah, he's the uh, yeah. he's a sysadmin over there. Yeah. Um, so he might be able to help us. But did he tell you how much of the footage got lost? No, he didn't. He said it's a whole bunch of it. But and I don't know where it got lost. He said the fucking Everything got vaporized. I guess they were hanging a camera off a bar or something like that. Fucking well, and he didn't wait for me, and we were going to get some drive-by footage, some additional stuff, and I don't know even why the footage was still on the camera, but yeah. the fucking rigged up on the truck, trying to get some drive-by shit yeah. at downtown Reno and some other stuff, some like GoPro-style yeah. footage, and yeah. it fucking the, the camera came off, and I mean, he said vaporized to me. I think that was more of trying to light-heart things, but... Um, yeah. It it fucked the camera up, and I think I haven't seen the card or the or the camera yet, but it's supposed to be pretty fucked. Um, but he Man. told me that the the majority of what was on that card was was all the dialogue in the office. Yeah. All the all the stuff that we did with you and and the girls yeah. in the office and the, and everything else. I mean, it's. 
I was not happy. I'm I'm fucking lit right now. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Did I have my long beard or my short beard then? I can't remember either. I think it was. I think it was kind of long. Yeah. So I fucking shaved mine off. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and the only other thing we could do, the only other thing we could do is is reshoot it. I mean, if we could try to go back and pick it up, would be the only other option. Yeah. What'd well, you I want? know I could do a better job of a lot of the stuff, and I, I had a fucking blast doing it either way, so. So you would want to do it again? Oh, fuck, dude. I'd fucking do it in the heart. What, what, you know, what, what, what are you doing tomorrow? You think we could try to? I know. You think we could try to squeeze it in? I mean, I got I got most of the day off. Well, let's see what uh, see what's going on. I was planning on doing some water heater stuff at the house, but let's, let's see what you got first, and then see what we got to repair or replace or replace. But see if my beard was long or short. I mean, if I got to grow my beard out to get it back, fuck, I got no problem with that. How fast can you grow it back? How fast do you think it'll come back? Yeah, do something different, maybe. I don't know. It was, it was, it was a blast to do. I mean, I'll fucking, you know, I, anything you guys want to want me to fucking do to be involved, I'll, I'll be doing it, man. Cause I have, I have a good time doing it. You know, you're way, way too nice to us. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking with you right now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we, we've been fucking with you since yesterday. <laughs> No, the footage is good to go. Actually, like the footage is not fucked. It is, oh, it is, it is, un, it is unfucked, yeah. <laughs> no, we, uh, well, Matt wanted to fuck with you yesterday, and then we kind of drug it out way too long. <laughs> and now we're, uh, we're, we're actually doing our podcast that we do every week right now, and you're on it. Oh, no shit. <laughs> and I'm on it. Right on. Yeah, you're on the, you're right on. You're on the speakerphone. We, you got, you got, uh, you got punked. As it were. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna, uh, when are we going to do the other podcast? We're going to have to when get... When are you free? Yeah, we're going to have to get together on that. But, right. uh... So, I'll, I'll talk to you... Again. I'll talk to you this weekend and we'll get it, we'll get it scheduled out. Alright, I'll get, I'll get both of you back. Alright. <laughs> that's, I told, I told Matt that we, that's the part we got to worry about. We got to worry about you getting even. <laughs> It is. Alright. Alright, I'll talk to you this weekend. Say pop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was entertaining. Anyways, this kid. <coughs> like I see all these people fucking talking about like how this kid, you know, they're feeling bad for him, blah blah blah, which is fine to feel bad for somebody, but Clearly, these people who feel bad for him did not have kids of their own that could potentially have been harmed in this situation. Absolutely. You have a kid. You know, I've got one as well, basically. like even One of high school age, even. Right, one that could have been there if it were a different kid at a different school. Exactly, and that's what scares the shit but out like, of me. Is you don't absolutely, know I would have wanted do. that fucking school policeman to fucking shoot him. And he did the right thing. He absolutely did the right thing. He did his job. He did what he was trained to do. There's an armed assailant, and cops are trained within 25 feet. A knife is a deadly weapon. You good can, kids don't fuck up, man. Good kids don't take knives to school and fucking swing them around at people. Good kids don't take guns to school and shoot the place up. Good kids don't call in bomb threats. Good kids don't bring bombs to school. Right. Good, good kids, kids go to school, like hang them. out with their friends, fucking get good grades, get bad grades, do sports, don't do sports. And if a good kid gets bullied, a good kid doesn't try to get even... 
there are steps to go about. And even if the, those steps aren't working the way they need to be working, there are a million other steps to get there. You know, and I admit, there are people have, to talk to. I hate to say that times have changed so much. They really when, haven't, when though. We, they haven't. When we were kids. I mean, okay, so when we were kids, it was still... Which, it was, which it aspect really are you changed. talking about? What I'm, what I'm getting at is when I remember at a young age, this is elementary school. Well, still, then we didn't have social media back when we were fucking yeah, in high school. Yeah, we didn't have any of that. We didn't have social media. MySpace didn't get pocket. going until like after, last, out of high school. Yeah. Like, right out of high school. Like, oh, four. So, what I'm getting at is... The, the thing that I see that has changed... And maybe I'm kind of an old soul in this way, but if somebody's picking on you, you go home and you have Uncle Lou get the boxing gloves out and teach you how to fight. Right, you know, who, Uncle, was I talking to you about this? I don't know. Or was I talking to her? Is you people, might have been talking to somebody else, but if, if you People teach can't it, fight anymore. People can't no. just You can't just fight. Oh, no, I was talking to Wes about this because Wes was talking about, like, in his day, like, like do you ever see Footloose? <laughs> <laughs> no, and Wes is a fair, a fair piece older than we are. Wes so. went to high school in the 80s. Right. So, you know, kids would be able to fight it out. And there weren't guns involved and there weren't knives involved. Yeah. And they, they got it out of their system and they handled it themselves. And not to say that people weren't being killed or shot or stabbed in high school in the 80s. But nowadays, if someone to fight with somebody else, everyone's ready to sue. Everyone's blah, 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 blah. And it's... Yeah. And I just wish that... Because it's kind of scary for me because my kid's getting ready to start school in the near future next year. And I, I don't... Just tell him to stay away like, from the dick. Yeah, don't, stay away from the D. <laughs> no, not that dick. The kid that's a dick, not the actual dick. Stay away from it all. Just be friends with the, the girls. Yeah, exactly. Just hang out with the chicks, Callan. <laughs> yeah, just hang out with the chicks. Get them preggers, whatever you got to do. You know? Just stay, stay away from stay knives away and from guns. Violence. <laughs> say no to violence. Say yes to sex. <laughs> I would rather, you know, I'd rather deal with a kid that's got a kid than deal with a dead kid. That would, that would so Cal, me. he's five now? He's five. So let's say in so, 10 years, <laughs> 10 years time, he's like, Dad, guess what? The condom broke. Yeah. Or maybe I didn't use one. Whichever one works for you where you don't yell at me. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be like, well, I hope your, uh, hope your job's working out good for you because you got some. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I'm a I'm a big proponent. Like if you are big enough to put your dick in the hole and make a baby, you better get big enough to to take care of business because that's going to be your responsibility. So in ten years, Callan episode one fourteen, a sequel podcast. Take a listen. Yeah, have a listen, boy, because you're going to learn something. <laughs> this fucking asshole. He don't know me. He don't, you don't fucking know. He don't, don't know, know me. Shit. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> sequel podcast. So, Think you're cool talking on a computer. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> but uh, I, I wish, I wish kids, I wish kids could just fucking sock each other up a little bit. Get over get it. Get another system. You know, sometimes kids need to get their ass beat to learn the learn you're, things. Yeah, you're either not a tough guy or you are a tough guy. You whip the kid's ass and the game's over. Maybe you win next time. And then if you got to fucking do it again, you got to do it again. Right. Now I got a problem with the one kid that wants to beat everybody's ass continually. That's just the straight bully. up. The bully. The, the guy that wants to sock you up Not for no reason. two people that have a problem with each other. Two kids and maybe they need to fight it out. Maybe they can fucking be friends afterwards. Yeah, I mean... You I know, grow a, from it. I have a friend uh, no, who's considerably older <laughs> than we are. You don't know anybody. I, I know several people. <laughs> anyway, he went Your to wife school, and your son don't he count. He went to high school in the 70s. Okay. And back then, it was kind of a... You know... Lax. If you, it, it was it was a lot more lax. Like you weren't supposed to be fighting, but it wasn't like major consequences if you were busted. Like somebody got socked up, and game over. Everybody's okay. You go home. Right. You, you fucking get you yelled at by off. your teachers. Maybe they fucking hit you with a ruler or something. Exactly. And you know, and, and maybe they got pissed off about it a little bit. But the biggest thing I remember him telling they got me hot about as Corey gets sometimes when it floods. Yeah. This uh, this one guy, he he starts going to a new school. Okay. This is my friend. And this one kid just, you know, he's he's a jock. He thinks he's going to be a fucking tough guy. My friend at the time had long hair, kind of, of the times. You know, Leonard Skinner long hair, you know? <laughs> Leonard Skinner. You know, Leonard Skinner had long hair. And the mustaches and this shit. But anyway, it's the 70s, like... Sure. Like, not really hippie, but rocker long hair, almost. Disco. So anyways, 
this kid thinks he's going to be a fucking tough guy, and he's he's got to he's got to pick a fight with the new kid, and he he's talking hair. shit, talking shit, talking shit about his hair, and fucking with him all the time, and he's like, you touch my fucking hair again, I'm going to fucking punch you in your face, and you're going to be sorry, because I'm not going to stop. And the kid's like, well, fuck it, 3 o'clock at the bike rack, you know, that kind of thing. Like, sure. we're fight after school. So then it's this big fucking, like, media presentation. All the kids around the school are spreading it around. Fucking big fight. This guy and this guy at the bike rack at 3 o'clock, and they're going to be there. So they come out there, and, you know, he's fucking standing there. He's like, you sure you want to do this? Because I'm going to fuck you up. That's what my <laughs> friend says to this guy. And he's like, they, they didn't talk for very much longer. They started swinging on each other. And he fucking beat his ass. My, my friend beat the other guy's ass. Right. And he's after that, they actually, the... yeah, he was he was a fighter mm-hmm. growing up. He, mm-hmm. he had two brothers and was kind of a hothead in school anyway, so he had to learn how to fight. But he, he fucking whipped the kid's ass, and they were best friends from then on. He's like, I, I, I would rather fucking be on your side than be against you. Right. You know, so that's, that's the way that's to the kind go, of thing man. You, think, you, you would think it should have to be. It's Instead like, of holding the grudge... And I'm no one to talk about holding grudges because I like holding grudges. It's what Matt's I do. A, Matt's a grudge master. Um, but like, like that's a good way to go about it. Is be like, you know what? I I was wrong. People need to admit that they're wrong more often. Absolutely, and and I think one of the other things that I think was probably of the '50s was, you know, if you want to get in a fist fight, you go in the gym and they hand you a pair of boxing gloves and you guys could duke it out. And I'm not sure if that's a true story or not. Maybe get somebody who's old enough to have remembered that, but. You know, boxing was a thing in school back in the day. Like, that was a form of physical education. Sure. That was an exercise. But if you wanted to fight somebody, you could go to the gym teacher, and you guys could fight in class, you know, and get it. So it was relatively safe, where nobody was going to get curbed or fucking stomped on the ground. It would be a, 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 what we would refer curbed. to as a fair fight. Right. You know, where you could sock each other up, and whoever was standing at the end of the day was the winner, and whatever fucking beef you had with each other gets dropped, and it's over with. But nothing fucking stays it the does. The world changes. The world does change. And we live in a world where everyone's ready to sue everybody else, where everyone's or, ready to fucking blame somebody, everybody else. Or kill somebody over some bullshit. Right. That's the part that bothers me. Like, <clears throat> I've had people piss me off before. I've never had anybody piss me off, like, directly so much that I wanted to get my gun out and fucking kill that person. That's crazy, dude. That's insanity. That's, that's super that's crazy. A, that's an insane level of anger. Like, I've been angry before, like, where I want to thump somebody, like, I want to put, lay hands. Well, look, you own guns. I do. I Therefore, own. your son is in a home where there are guns at his house. There are. And he knows goddamn good and well not to fucking touch him either. Does he? He does. But he's only five. He is five. And he's so not when big he enough gets to get older, to does he Is he allowed to watch movies where people shoot each other? Uh, we haven't done any, like, adult live action movies, like, where there's... You have not shown him Commando yet. No. All right, let's yet. say Terminator 2. He hasn't seen that yet. Where he's either. blowing people away his knees with the shotgun as they're coming up. He'll live. <laughs> He'll live. <laughs> don't kill anybody. So. I, I said don't kill you. anybody. God damn it. <laughs> fucking robot. <laughs> robot. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think that. When's he going to be allowed to watch movies like that? I watch movies fairly early like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He well, takes, I mean, I was raised in a house where there were just always movies on. He takes things really super literally right now, and everything is really very definitive. Like, every like if I say, go to your room, forever! You know, like, <laughs> he thinks that I'm going to send him into his room until he dies. <laughs> and it's like, because he's super, like, 100% on everything. Everything is 100% or nothing. What's his birthday? He's, oh, yeah, he's New, New Year's Eve. New Year's baby, yeah. So... I think we'll wait for a little bit more um, maturity. Maturity, yeah. Well, mental mental maturity, I think, before we watch some anything. Arnold live Schwarzenegger. Action, yeah. Well, before we end this show, <laughs> have we watched any movies? I've actually been reading this last week, which is which is new for me. I've yeah, read, but no, you I've got read you got some books for week. Christmas. I did get some books for Christmas. I'm assuming that's what you're reading. I was. And we talked. We kind of talked about those. Yeah, we talked about the books that you got. Yeah, just so. some zombie shit that no one cares about. I think it's fucking awesome. I I I, I have a hard time not like just immersing myself into that world, and the writing is good. I think, and I could be wrong. Well, I like giving you shit about everything and anything. It's so, true. I mean, which is fair enough. A good but, book's a good book, so enjoy it. But when you but when you gay. when you can read something <laughs> and you <laughs> fuck you, and you immerse yourself in it, and you like can. You can feel like you're there. 
Like that to me is like the ultimate in good writing. Have you read Cell? Why don't you read Cell? Go read Cell. Uh, the Stephen King. Yeah. I actually just watched the movie. The movie was. It was not. Did you watch it on my on my thing? On the Voodoo, yeah. <laughs> Did you I, watch Thirty One? I haven't watched that yet. But yeah, no. I was I was uh, up like, late and I saw a Cell and I was like, eh, I like Sam Jackson. I was stoked I like for Cusack. a Cell, but I mean, I read the book and I don't remember because I read the book fucking years and years ago. Right. When they were talking about making a movie. And several versions of that movie fell through until they actually did make it. When did that movie come out? Last year. Okay, so it's relatively new. Yeah. Directed DVD. Directed DVD. And like. And it, that was kind of like a zombie. It was flat. But not. It was, it was kind flat. of flat. And it's because I think the carnage wasn't what it could have been. I think I think that it would have brought the movie up a notch if they would have made the. It you know, works the, the better on the page than I'm it does sure. on Oh, the it's screen. easier to explain it in a book. There's so much more depth in words. Well, they don't know anything either. True. Like, in the movie, they don't know anything they more than what, that, than what he writes on the page either. Right. Like, I mean, he's, he, it's told from the perspective of Homeboy, so, like, he doesn't know anything. Yeah. Oh, and I think that they could have brought it up a notch in entertainment value if they had made the phoners a bigger part of the movie made them more like zombies where they really are around every corner and they're always fucking with you but they kind of kept them at a distance it's such a weird ending super weird ending it's really it is and it isn't because if you look at the way they edited it spoiler alert um well, he kind of has this thing where he drives the rv or the the ice cream truck into the middle of the, the circle and they're like pounding the he gets out. Up. yeah he gets out and he's gonna look for his son in this big winding circle of phoners. Okay. And they're obviously already emitting this noise that can change your brain waves or some shit into being one of them, right? If you hear it. Mm hmm So the instant he approaches that area, he's probably boom, he's turned. But he has like this mental image of him getting out and finding his son and then the phoner's getting his son, and then he fucking calls the number on the cell phone, which at long last we figure out, oh, the cell phone who he's calling from and the number is attached to the C4 that's filling this fucking food truck. Right, because the dude that was that had the truck right was a was like a, some kind of bomb tech or something in the past. And life. he gave him the phone. And he said... Like, because they went out into the, the woods, at right? At the end of the line, you'll know when to call the number. And he finally makes it up to... I forget what the fucking name of that place was that they went to. It was a weird fucking name. Anyway, they get up, he gets up there, and then he finally realizes this is what he meant. When you get to the end of the line, when you get to the king of the internet, I think he calls him, um, he's, he finally says to himself, oh, fuck, this is what the guy was talking about. He calls the number, he pushes the button, and then it, it films through this explosion where there's you know this massive c4 explosion that blows the whole fucking thing the kingdom come and you think cool ending and then it shows him in the uh, i don't want to say post credit but like a pre post cash walk cash walk cash walk cash whack cash whack yeah up in uh, michigan. raggedy man was it michigan or was it in uh, canada canada okay so and then it shows the raggedy kind of a, man do they call him the raggedy man they don't they call him the king of the internet. The guy in the red, in the red uh, hoodie. In the red hoodie, yeah. In the book, he's got like it's like a Harvard sweater. Okay. And they like when they meet up with the other group, they call him Raggedy Man, and the other group calls him like, you know, the Harvard the, president, school president, or something like okay. that, because they all have dreams about, this about guy. him. Yeah. yeah. So, and then in the very end, they show him running around the circle. This is like zombied out. As yeah. A part of the group again. Yeah. So. Yeah, they call him the Raggedy Man. Cash whack. Yeah, I don't remember ever hearing that in the movie. No, because because uh, they had, they changed. I mean, you know, they got to condense. Oh sure, thing. sure. But it wasn't a horrible movie. It wasn't a great movie either. No, it wasn't. Great because either. I and like I said, I enjoy that landscape. I enjoy post-apocalypse. I enjoy apocalyptic shit where everything's fucked up and the world no longer exists the way it does now. Yeah, that's that's the that. landscape I enjoy. 
So if it's about that, I tend to enjoy it one way or the other. Mm-hmm. But from a more of a film perspective, it was very flat. It, there wasn't a whole lot of up and down to it. It was just like, oh my god, everything's over. We gotta get away. We gotta get away. We gotta get away. We found some guns. Cool. Run away some more. Run away. Run away. Run away. Have some weird dreams. Hey, these other people had fucking weird dreams too. And then you wake up and now these people are killing each other. <laughs> and I mean, really, the movie is very one after the other, the same shit, different day. And that was the one thing I didn't like about it was it, it didn't really come up. Because there's not really there's not much more in there's the book. There's nothing to build to it. And it was book, very and short. In the movie. I think. I think the movie was pretty short. Well, I mean, they wanted to make the movie back during the zombie craze. Yeah, and they missed that fucking. And the only thing that's left in the zombie craze now is Walking Dead. Yeah, and 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 that's fine, because I think Walking Dead still plays the game. Walking Dead is still winning. Mm -hmm. They're still doing it. They're still making money. Right. Well, all the people that were watching it back (laughs) during the height of the zombie craze, sure, are still watching a good TV show even now that the zombie craze is over. Exactly. And I think that... And they still want to watch that good TV show that they like. And that's that's where The Walking Dead has won, is that it became a good TV show. It was a good TV show. It still is. Right. And nothing else really made it past that. Like, I can't think of a single other... Well, I mean, there is no craze now. What's the craze now? What's the horror craze? There is there a horror craze? I don't remaking know, old that, movies, yeah, remaking like they just did Blair movies. Witch, and there's yeah. another Ring movie coming out. Yeah. No, here's what the, it, the Boogeyman. The, the Boogeyman is the new thing. The Boogeyman. There's a lot of Boogeyman type horror movies, mm. where it's like a ghost that's killing people, uh, okay. and and it's not like it's you know like the Poltergeist kind of ghost, not the Conjuring kind of ghost, but the ghost where it's like the Boogeyman, right. where it's a single ghost entity mm-hmm. that's very creepy. <laughs> Yeah, and that, I don't know, that's why I don't get into shit like that, because it's like, if I can reason through what's happening in the movie, I'm good with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I can reason through a zombie apocalypse, like, that's realistic to me. More realistic a than a ghost. Like, some kind of creepy thing, it follows, a lot of that shit that we've talked about in the past. Fucking it follows. <laughs> that was a fucked up movie. But a lot of that stuff that's like, okay, that can't possibly happen at all, ever. I, I have a hard time enjoying it. You don't believe like in ghosts? That. I don't. Why I think not? we've talked about that before, but not in depth on here. Mm-hmm. I don't. I just don't believe in ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I, I don't think... I think if there is anything left of your being when you die, they it's say, gone. One joke that I kept around for a long time is one theory was if you die, whatever you're closest to, you kind of... You know, and it when I heard your being right, something like that, and I was, and you know, I was like, "What? That's stupid." What if you're like, you're like at the computer and you die, and then you fucking you go into the computer, the ghost of the machine, <laughs> which was a horrible movie. It was a horrible movie back in the early '90s when they were making Static. horrible horror movies. I don't know that one. That was another bad horror movie. <laughs> you know, like I, I thought that was funny. Like my big go-to is when you die, you go into the computer. <laughs> That's what my big theory is. You think is. you're gonna die by the computer? God, I hope not. Me too. But you know what? You could be in a hospital bed and you can die next to a machine that's essentially a computer. So every time you go to the hospital, remember that you don't that machine <laughs> that's is you. full of the souls of all those who precede you in that very but bed fucking where you die. Everything, dude. Everything. A beer bottle? A piece of dog poop? Yeah, but think about it. Like, this beer bottle... Like, a, a piece of machinery... It's kind of alive. Eh, yes and no. Alive in a way, not in sure. an organic kind of way. Yeah, but, but alive this, in its own mechanical. This is not alive. Right. This isn't doing anything. If you think about it, though, a beer bottle is comprised of millions of years old Sand. silica <laughs> and other shit that makes up glass. There's probably a cock in here somewhere. There's at least one cock in there. If not many cocks. There's there's a paper label. If not made many from kind of animal cocks. And that tree, tree is cocks. made of decomposed shuttlecock. animal cocks. <laughs> <laughs> and they play shuttlecock and then drink beer. And I mean, you could be drank by like a really good looking guy or girl. Or, <laughs> or an ugly looking be, one. Or you could be broken in the parking lot on the way to the car. I mean, really, a beer bottle is not a bad way to go. <laughs> and then you're, those pieces yeah, but you can be recycled. go down into the sewer. You can be recycled. Not everything goes to the sewer, Matt. 
All right. Is it time to call it a day? I think we've done enough damage for the day. Next time. Next time we'll have to coat on. We'll have to coat on and we'll rouse his shit. So. And then hopefully. And then we'll means. fucking do Snow White. And Cinderella. And Cinderella. And Alien. And Alien. We'll do fucking. We'll do a week we'll do one we watch a, every we'll single do, movie one a we'll day. We'll do one a day for the next three days. Shit. Not this week. So, whenever you want to do Snow White, and we got to do that thing, too. Also, anyways, um, thanks for listening. I'm Matt Bonta. And I'm Corey Easley. Thanks. Thanks. Yep, thank you.